Kroger presents Signing Day Spotlight, a video series profiling some of the top players in Georgia's 2021 recruiting class. And now, here are your hosts, Dog Nation's Jeff Sintel and former UGA All-American John Stenchcomb. In the war room, and we're going to take it to the mat right now about Dylan Fairchild. I know, I know John Stenchcomb does his homework. I know he knows that, that Dylan Fairchild is a state wrestling champion. I know that he knows he didn't get beat, but the professor of the offensive line here for Dog Nation, John, did you know he pinned a dude in the state quarterfinals of the state wrestling championship last year in four seconds, in four seconds. Now, you guys want to know what that means about him being a bad man? You want to know how that translates to offensive linemen and leverage? John. Take it away, my man. Run with this one. Uh, Offensive lineman pinning another 285-pound dude in four seconds. How's that possible? Uh, You tell me. I I remember reading the story last year when it occurred just because it sounds outlandish. Four seconds? I mean, come on. That's that's unheard of. But uh, you watch him play, and he plays like a wrestler. He bends really well. He uses leverage. and, And for those guys, it reminds me of, like, Iowa's offensive line where I think they grow up in like wrestling country where, you know, you get a bottle at one and you start wrestling at two because all those guys understand leverage. They understand angles and and good power positions. Dylan Fairchild is cut from that same cloth. He, uh, he's a guy who bends well. He, he understands leverage. He puts his, he's got good body control and pass pro. Um, it's somebody who, in my mind, he can play inside and out. He's got the, a frame that you're going to continue to build on. He's probably not as far along as some of the other linemen in this draft class um, in physical development. But he's got, he's got a nice frame to build upon, especially when you understand, when you understand that he understands leverage and uh, just being able to bend because, uh, as most wrestlers know, It's low man wins, and you watch him play, and and he certainly understands that concept. John, we keep stressing in these war rooms. We got guys that can move really well. We got guys that can bend really well. When you see Dylan, do you think he's maybe one of the best benders, best movement, best body control guys in this class? It seems like he knows what he wants to do. He's got that healthy side of aggression, too, to him. It seems like he is one of the better movement dudes in this signing class. Yeah, he certainly understands uh, leverage. You, you watch him when on his successful plays. I mean, he doesn't mind getting up underneath the guy. They all run their feet. I mean, that, that's almost a given at this point. Any recruit that's being signed by Georgia is a finisher, and Dylan's no exception. I mean, you, you watch play after play from any number of these guys, and I'll show you multiple clips of them running folks off the screen, right, or burying them or shoving them in the ground. Dylan's no different. You watch his film. Uh, interior footwork, I, I, you know, you can clean up some technique stuff for him, uh, but, but he's a good mover. He understands leverage and is, has one of those frames where I think depends on where you want him as to how you want to fill it out. Is he, is he a guy that you want on the interior or do you project him more at a, a tackle position? I think he's got that flexibility. Even quite honestly, Jeff, I think the way he bends, you could even put him at center just because – you know, he's one, a taller guy, but the way he's, he bends, you might uh, be able to put him all the way in the middle and, and have him as a center because just the way he, uh, he understands leverage. I think what we've discussed here with a guy like Dylan, another All-American, another guy playing in 7A big boy Georgia football, another guy that can be that Swiss Army knife type Cade Mays, but I think he's a better athlete doing it than even Cade Mays brought to the table. And You look at that great senior film, John, and he's not even really fully healthy. He's moving around from tackle. He's moving around to guard at times, and he's been dealing with a knee. And it it just boggles my mind what Georgia's been able to do stacking up these linemen. I think the the fan base loves that phrase, cord wood. And you've got Dylan Fairchild right there who – he's a unique guy. He's another guy. He won't enroll early because he's going to go try and pin somebody in three seconds during his senior year to be a little bit better than that. Um, John Stenchcomb, we, you, he and I both agree. We love Dylan Fairchild. Dylan Fairchild is a guy that has told me, man, he said, I'm just going to be so proud to play for Georgia, represent my home state, be a bulldog. I'm going to pour whatever I can of myself into that program to help them as best I can. I'm just ready to come in and get to work. 
It's kind of like Stinchcomb here in on these war rooms, man. We're just ripping these out. And it's not like we're talking about um, two stars or we're talking about, oh, he's going to have to be coached up or he, this guy's raw. You know, maybe he can get better in the weight room. He might not play one or two years away. I guarantee you the coaches at Auburn, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, even mighty Alabama, they wouldn't mind having a lot of these guys coming in on the class of 2022 on the war room. We've just chopped up Dylan Fairchild. That's John Stinchcomb. Uh, thanks for joining us right now on Dog Nation. Thanks for joining us. For more info on UGA recruiting, check out dognation.com. And a special thanks to our sponsor, Kroger. Fresh for everyone.